नमस्कार वेलकम टू दी लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन आर्चेस इन दीज लेक्चर्स वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू एनालाइज अ थ्री हिंज्ड आर्च एंड लेटर अ टू हिंज्ड आर्च इफ यू विजिट अ टूरिस्ट प्लेस लाइक शिमला और मैसूर और महाबलेश्वर मथेरा you will find many bridge decks have been supported by arched structure like this obviously because it is very difficult to construct this arch it is time consuming it is not economical and it is consuming a lot of vertical space also the arch construction had stopped and had been completely replaced by the frame structure or trusses recently however due to the advancement in technology as well as research and advancement in materials arches are now again coming down because they are extremely aesthetic structures now if you visit the kokan railway stations if you visit the metro stations you will find that the roof supporting system has been designed using arches so let's start with a three hinged arch let's see the components the parts of a three hinged arch we have a hinge support at abutment a here hinge support b at the second abutment and there is a third hinge an internal hinge at c this third hinge is usually provided at the crown at the topmost point of the arch for the sake of analysis we are choosing point a as our origin horizontally is x axis vertically we have y axis the distance between two abutments two supports is called span denoted by capital l and the distance of the crown with respect to the x axis is denoted by h called as rise it is possible that the two supports are at two different levels in which case we will have to define rise with respect to a as h1 and perhaps rise with respect to b as h2 you are observing that vertical loads w1 w2 w3 etc are acting on the arch now because of the gravity loads because of the downward pressure created the effect of these loads is to expand the span of the arch and that's why the reactions at the abutments are inwardly pointed as you are observing horizontal reaction ha and hb at the two hinge supports obviously vertical reactions v and vb are upwards in absence of any horizontal load this ha and hb are going to be equal and opposite if the loading is completely symmetric v and vb will also be equal otherwise they will be unequal though we have four unknowns here ha va hb and vb we also have four equations of equilibrium because of this internal hinge we are offer one more equation of equilibrium that is summation of moments of root c equal to 0 either taken for part bc or taken for part ac so we have four unknowns in four equations that makes a three hinge arch a determinate structure now you are observing that we have developed our diagram of three hinge arch a bit we are assuming section xx at a horizontal distance of x and at a vertical distance of y from the origin that is hinge support at a point obviously we are trying to express bending moment in our arch at section xx for the sake of comparison i have also shown a simply supported beam which is similarly supported and similarly loaded we have w1 w2 w3 etc we have reactions va vb let's assume that this load w1 acts at some arbitrary distance small a 
similar small a distance has been assumed here and a similar section xx has been shown in case of b now if i express bending moment in 3 inch arch if you look at the diagram carefully we are observing that at section x this va is creating sagging moment this w1 is creating hogging moment and for that matter this horizontal reaction or thrust at a is also creating hogging bending moment so my expression for the bending moment at the section is going to be mx bending moment at a distance x is equal to va multiplied by horizontal distance x which is sagging so positive then w1 multiplied by this distance which is clearly x minus a hogging okay, that's why negative so it is w1 into x minus a and there is one additional term that is reaction given by the horizontal thrust at the abutment which is hogging h a multiplied by y now if you see the bending moment in b at the same section xx obviously it is mx is equal to va multiplied by x which is sagging and w1 multiplied by x minus a which is hogging so our expression is mx is equal to positive va into x minus w1 into x minus if you compare the two bending moments at the same section we are observing that in arch there is one additional negative term subtracting term so obviously this expression will yield a smaller amount compared to this expression that is why we are observing and we are concluding bending moment in arch at any section is going to be smaller than bending moment in a similarly supported and loaded beam as the bending moment in arch is smaller than bending moment in beam the sectional requirements of arch for example the depth of the section or even the reinforcement they are going to be smaller compared to the b this same expression i have repeated here rewritten here this is bending moment for arch which is va into x minus w1 into x minus a minus ha times y we are observing that this expression is exactly identical to the bending moment expression in the b similarly loaded and supported b so we say that this expression represents beam moment it is called as beam moment the last part is the horizontal thrust moment it is the bending moment which is an additional expression but with negative sign in case of a 3 inch arch so we call it horizontal thrust moment in general bending moment in an arch is equal to beam moment minus horizontal thrust now we are discussing a particular case and a couple of standard results this is a three hinged arch with both the supports at the same level subjected to uniformly distributed load that is uda with intensity of small w over the entire span L is the span, H is the rise. We are trying to establish standard results for support reactions. V A and V B vertically upwards, H A and H B horizontal thrusts which are inwardly pointed. Now I am simply applying summation of forces in y direction equal to zero. Upwards V A plus upwards V B. Minus downwards total load of W L is equal to zero. Now V A is same as V B because of the complete symmetry, so that I am getting each one V A as well as V B is equal to half the total downwards load that is W L divided by two. Both are vertically upwards. Then to find out horizontal thrust H A and H B. i am applying summation of moments about c point about the internal hinge for part ac or even for part cd 
this will give me ha multiplied by small h that is ha multiplied by small h this moment is anti clockwise so we are assuming it to be positive then moment created by this udl over l by 2 section half the span it is going to be w into l by 2 into l by 4 that is where the resultant force will act so i have written anti clockwise w into l by 2 into l by 4 and minus there is going to be clockwise reaction by ba it is going to be ba multiplied by l by 2 already we have established ba to be w l by 2 so i am writing w l by 2 into l by 2 clockwise so i am putting negative sign all this is equal to zero we are solving this equation only for part ac on simplifying this will fetch H A is equal to W L square upon eight times H. Since there is no horizontal loading on the three hinged arch, your H B is going to be same as H A. So I have written H A is equal to W L squared by eight H, same as H B. Both are equal to point.